Hi, it's Dr. Noel Williams, Optimal Health Associates, sitting in our beautiful Ivy room at the office on Oklahoma Avenue, our new office, which is just gorgeous. Um, I want to talk about hormones and menopausal management, that kind of stuff today. It's very topical because, I mean, Oprah says it's good for women to be on hormone replacement therapy. So when Oprah says it, it must be true. Um, it's been nice. It's nice to have Oprah agree with me after 28 years of doing this and pretty much most of the medical establishment is very slowly moving towards understanding and being on board with it. The problem though is, is their residency training, meaning when you get out of medical school um, and learn how to actually be a doctor when you're an intern and a resident, are they training it? No, they're not in OBGYN at all. There's like scant training. And if you look at OBGYNs under the age of 40 and really under the age of 45 to 50, the vast majority of them do not believe in hormone replacement therapy, won't talk about hormone replacement therapy uh, at all. It's a travesty and it's the fault of the American College of OBGYN, the North American Metapausal Society, ISHWISH, which is International Society on Hormones. They have failed in the educational effort because they still are doing it predominantly incorrectly by acting like oral estrogen's fine. Oral estrogen is not fine. Topical estrogen is fine. Pellets are fine. Shots are fine. You just don't want to swallow estrogen because when you swallow estrogen, it makes you get blood or it could make you get a blood clot or a stroke. It also is the one way you can gain weight or get fat from hormones. So not a great idea. But again, why would we promote that? We would promote that because that's what Pfizer makes and some of these other big companies. Why would we do something like generic patches or generic topical gels or some simple things that are covered by insurance and then do things like shots or pellets when those simpler things don't work? That's the question always with all of this, but estrogen's fabulous for you. It lowers your risk for cardiovascular disease, Alzheimer's dementia, osteoporosis, diabetes. Yes, diabetes, because it lowers your insulin resistance and speeds your metabolism, because estrogen works in the mitochondria. So besides making you feel great and not age, it actually extends your life. Uh, likewise, uh, progesterone's wonderful for you most of the time, as long as it's natural. It may not always be tolerable, which is with any of the hormones we're gonna talk about is a possibility, but natural progesterone or bioidentical progesterone is safe. All these people get in this big, all these mainstream medical organizations get Twitter pated when you say natural hormone replacement therapy. Why? It's true. Bioidentical progesterone is totally safe. It's an FDA, FDA approved product. Why wouldn't we use the bioidentical when the synthetic does cause breast cell proliferation, potential for arterial stroke? Thank you, Phil Sorrell from um, Yale for documenting that years and years and years ago. This is old stuff. I mean, this is from the 90s. Uh, it can make you lose your hair. It increases insulin resistance. Synthetic progesterone is bad for you. I always describe it as a little slice of Satan going into your body. So we wouldn't use that. You use bioidentical, FDA approved natural progesterone. But again, the Embella medical organizations don't like hearing that for whatever reason. Um, then we have testosterone, which people still debate, which is the silliest thing ever. Testosterone is the dominant hormone from the ovary. The ovary makes 400% more testosterone than estrogen when you're a younger reproductive women, woman. And yes, that fades over time, but so does it lead towards aging because one is what is one of our primary hormones in the mitochondria again? Testosterone. So where do you think sex drive comes from? Now, estrogen and testosterone work together for that, but testosterone is super potent neurochemically because your greatest concentration of mitochondria is where? Frontal cortex. When you exercise from not exercising, why do you get more energy? Your mitochondrial content goes up by 50%. Is the greatest change in the muscle? No, it's in your brain. So let's make the brain mitochondrial work with testosterone and estrogen and progesterone, and people are gonna feel better and live longer. That's what the data shows. If there's any question about it, read the book Blind Spots by Dr. Macri, the new FDA chairman. A lot of interesting data in that book about controversial subjects, which he defines. So let's do the data, do the science, and take your hormones. Hormones are super important. Thank you.